James is a pioneer, he's an innovator, and he's a storyteller. Exact, passionate. Quiet, introspective, thoughtful, perseverant. <laughs> For 33 years, Colorado native and iconic ski resort trail map artist James Nehues has painted more than 200 stunning resort trail maps that skiers and snowboarders of all abilities have used to navigate Colorado and other resorts worldwide. It's safe to say that no other artist has had a more lasting or significant impact on the promotion and enjoyment of snow sports in our state. My bedroom in North Conway, New Hampshire was covered in trail maps from wherever I could get them, places I've been, many places that I hadn't been. And as I studied these maps and sort of dove deeper into them, I always saw this name at the bottom, James Nehus. As a young skier, it, it sort of brought me into this different world of ski resorts. What are these places like that I hadn't been? What's going on up here where there's these black diamond runs? What's going on over here in this alpine area? Um, it just kind of, I don't know, provoked a lot of thought and a lot of dreams in my mind of like the possibilities of skiing. Jim was born and raised on a farm in Loma, Colorado, graduating from Fruta Mountain High School and attended Mesa College. He began painting at the age of 15. His mom got him a paint set and he would paint. He painted the wild animals that he saw around his farm in Loma. Um, he painted all the, you know, landscapes and vistas that he saw, and he was able to translate that into a career, something that obviously sparked a passion. With a four-year stint in the Army and employment as a graphic artist, his trail map artist career took shape in 1987 with the encouragement of noted trail map artists Bill Brown and Hal Shelton. His initial trail map commissions were with Boreal Pass and Soda Mountain Resorts followed by his initial large resort commissions from Vail and Steamboat in 1988. It's pretty interesting to see that he started with this landscape, this ski resort painting, following Bill Brown, but then at the urging of Bill Brown and Hal Shelton, he really developed his own style and kind of broke out, and now, you know, everybody can see. You can look at a map and within a second, you know, that's a knees. Over the next 30 years, he refined his techniques to create highly visual and engaging trail maps. The maps are detailed and authentic, with their nuanced treatment of the resort imparting a mood or feeling to the resort topography. His artistry outperforms digital options and has stood the test of time. He is truly an iconic, indeed legendary, ski resort trail map artist. So the Breckenridge map, for example, has a beautiful sunrise behind it. So there's just a lot of colors in the sky because that's what Breckenridge is, we're a colorful place. And so without really needing a lot of coaching, that's what he was able to create for us, a very vibrant 2D map that felt 3D. With an unparalleled body of work, Observers have referred to him as the Michelangelo of snow, the Rembrandt of ski trails, the Monet of mountains, and the Norman Rockwell of skiing. He has put more passion and love and creativity into the soul of our sport than almost anybody else that I can ever think of. In addition to creating maps for all of Colorado's resorts, he has crafted maps for 75% of the U.S. ski resorts, along with resorts in Canada, Australia, Chile, New Zealand, and Serbia. His body of work was recently brought together in a beautiful coffee table showcase book entitled The Man Behind the Maps, legendary ski artist James Nehues. There's a number of you know areas where Jim is painted across the world, and skiers in those communities in those areas really respect Jim and they have they count him as a major influence. No other artist has had a more lasting or significant impact on the enjoyment of skiing. How many trail maps have been printed? Hundreds of millions. What other artists can say that? As for James Nehues, he modestly refers to himself as just a Colorado farm boy who became a self-taught artist. He simply states, that's what I do and that's what I live for. Rather, his finely crafted and detailed maps are as much a part of the snow sports experience as chairlifts, 
groom slopes, and hot cocoa. You see these natural colors in the rock and in the desert. You see the sky, the blue, and, and I think there's something to be said for that connection to nature in Western Colorado that perhaps informed his artwork later on in life. We are pleased to welcome James Nee Hughes to the Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Fame as an honored member of the class of 2020.